everybody and welcome back to play it again i'm sue thank you so very much for joining me today i am so happy that you could today we are going to be looking at a song by morrissey but it's really outside of the box that i usually put morrissey in he's going to be covering rose garden today which was made famous mostly by lynn anderson she wasn't the original singer but we know that lynn anderson is the one who made it very very famous in the early 1970s and uh, one of the subscribers named bradley he was very kind to point out that Morrissey had done a cover version of this song and that I had to check it out. This is a live version from 2015 and it's at the Grand Old Opry and I am so excited to check it out because this is not what I would usually expect Morrissey to sing and uh, for those of you who don't know who Morrissey is, he used to be the lead singer of the Smiths. So anyway, Let's get right into it. This is going to be a ton of fun. I'm sure I can't wait to see. Does he switch it up? Is it going to be very similar? I have no idea, but let's go to it. All right. And if everybody could subscribe to the channel and like this video, it would be most appreciated. Here we go. Very similar sounding so far. I beg your pardon. I never promised you a rose garden Along wow. with the sunshine There has to be a little rain sometimes wow. When you take you gotta give So live and let live or let go oh, 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 oh. I beg your pardon I never promised you a rose garden I could promise you things like big diamond rings But you don't find roses growing in stocks of clover So you better think it over If it's sweet talk then you can make it come true I could give you the world right now on a silver platter But what would it matter? So smile for a while and let's be jolly Love shouldn't be so melancholy Come along and share the good times while we can I bet Okay, this is, I'm loving this. First of all, Morrissey's voice really suits this kind of genre of pop country kind of sound. I am totally blown away because I'm not used to him singing this kind of song. The music itself in this song is very similar to the Lynn Anderson version with that poppy country. Uh, maybe just not as many horns, etc. But the music itself is very, very similar. And uh, he, they didn't really switch up that type of music at all. But it's so funny to me because when I think of the Smiths and I think of Morrissey, when Morrissey's writing was always quite dark, uh, even when they had really poppy, upbeat kind of sounding songs, the lyrics that he wrote were often very dark sounding. And interestingly enough, this song is a little kind of more... I don't know, happy or upbeat. Of course, the song is saying, hey, look, not everything's perfect. Not everything's a rose garden. Not everything is going to be, you know, always happy and cheery and, and et cetera, which Morrissey would totally be for. But it does tell them, it's explaining the song itself is saying, hey, you know, love shouldn't be melancholy, but he's like the king of melancholy. So I find this so ironic. But honestly, this is totally working for me. I am loving his version of this song. It is super, super fun. Thank you very much, Bradley, for, for turning me on to this one because it's great. All right, let's go. Let's finish it up. Beg your pardon. I never promised you a rose garden along with the sunshine. There has to be a little rain sometime. I beg your pardon. I never promised you a rose garden. I could sing you a tune and promise you the moon. If that's what it takes to hold you, then I'd just as soon let you go. But there's one thing I want you to know. Look 
before you leave Still waters run deep There won't always be someone there To pull you out And you know what I'm talking about So smile for a while Let's be jolly Love shouldn't be so melancholy Come along and share the good times While we can beg your pardon I never promised you a rose garden along with the sunshine there has to be a little rain sometime oh that's awesome Oh, that was a ton of fun. I really enjoyed that. I, I still think it's funny, you know, when I'm hearing a song that Morrissey is singing, talking about joy, uh, basically enjoying every day as it comes. And, you know, of course, there's going to be bad times, but let's, you know, not worry about those. Because he was always such a dark sort of lyricist. So... Anyway, he did that song total justice. That was fantastic. Now, I have a question for anybody who knew this version of this song particularly. Does he like Lynn Anderson? Does he just like this particular song? Does he like country music? Tell me something about Morrissey in the connection with the song. How did he come to sing this? Because I'd be very interested because it's not a song, like I said, that I really thought he would ever cover but he did an amazing job and the, the crowd was really getting into it as well and seemed to really appreciate that he was singing the song anyway if you have any other little hidden gems like that that maybe Morrissey did uh, put it down in the comments and let me know because I would love to check out something that's maybe it throws me off a little bit and is a little different than what I expect from people like Morrissey anyway that was a ton of fun I really loved that so I just I can't wait to do more so my fun fact about this song is, is that this song has been recorded by multiple people. It's been recorded many, many times, and it's been recorded across different musical genres, whether it's R&B, easy listening, pop, country, of course, and it's been done by many, many people, the likes of Katie Lang, Johnny Mathis, Martina McBride, Dobie Gray, Lynn Anderson, of course, and uh, Billy Joel Royal, who was the original singer and uh, of the song. So anyway, it has had a ton of different takes on it. And to be honest, uh, now I have only heard Lynn Anderson's version and Morrissey's version. So I may have to look into some of these other ones because I'd like to hear maybe how Johnny Mathis, his take on it, that would be very interesting. Or Dobie Gray doing a little bit of an R&B version. That could be interesting too. So anyway, if you have any other songs that maybe are just done by people that, you know, do different genres of music and have done something different, even if it's not more, so you put that down in the comments as well because I'd be more than happy to check it out. All right, everybody, thank you so very much for tuning in and everybody have a joyful day and I will see you all again next time. Bye-bye.